So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. So hi everyone. Today I am back again with another very complicated use case of multi-agent orchestration that is an AI agent driven interview panel. So in my previous video, uh, multi-agent interview, I have talked about how we can use multi-agent orchestration to have a conversation between an interviewer and an interviewee, where the interviewer would be asking multiple questions, the interviewee would be answering and eventually we would be deciding whether the interviewee would be selected or not. Going a step ahead in this particular case, we would be having a panel of interviews. So it would be multiple rounds of interviews getting conducted by multiple AI agents. And then eventually in the end, depending upon all the performances, the candidate would be chosen. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to import all the required functions from Langchain and Langgraph. So if you're new to Langgraph uh, or if you're new to multi-agent orchestration, I would suggest you to check out my previous video on Langgraph for beginners and other use cases that I have discussed. That is movie scripting debate so that you have a better understanding. In this particular use case, I am using the Gemini Pro model by Google. So if you don't have the API key, it is free to create. If you don't have it, you can even use Olama using local LLM. So I have already demonstrated in my previous video, how can you use Olama also for local LLM? So you can check that out. In this case, I'm using Gemini Pro. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to assign interviewer role. So what role you are interviewing? And eventually, depending upon that, we would be first creating a panel who should be interviewing the for this particular given role. So for example, in this case, I'm going for junior product manager. It can be anything. Now using this particular prompt, suggest an interview panel to interviewer dash, suggest just the roles and comma separated list. So, uh, but by this prompt, you won't be getting a list item. So to get a list item, you need to use output parsers from Langchain. I'm using a comma separate list output parser which will eventually give me a list element, which has five elements in it. So here you can see that we are panel is created now. So to interview a junior product manager, we are having a panel of product manager, senior product manager, lead engineer, UX designer, marketing manager. Now this panel is created. Next, what we would be doing one by one, these interviewers would be questioning the candidate, giving their responses. And eventually in the end, we will be consolidating their reviews and then giving a final judgment. So before jumping onto the codes, let's understand the Langgraph uh, code flow. So we would be starting with the start node, which is an empty node. Then we would be first of all going to handle question. So handle question, uh, we would be, so the panel that we have created for like, in that case, it is five interviewers. So we would be going in a sequential format. So the first agent would be asking all his questions, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth. So we'll be starting with the first agent, whomsoever comes in the list first, he would be asking its question. Then the interviewer would be, interviewee would be giving a response. We'll be checking the length. Okay, how many questions have the interviewer has asked? So we have set that threshold as five. So each interviewer would be asking five questions. So it would be five into five in our case, because we have five interviewers in the panel. So if the threshold is not met yet, so if he hasn't asked five questions till now, we would be again going back to handle question and the cycle will repeat until unless five questions has been asked. Once we hit this particular threshold, we go to handle result where this particular agent, whomsoever was interviewing this particular candidate would be giving his response and that gets accumulated. Now here would be checking the rounds. So by rounds, we mean that as we have five interviewers in the panel, we would be having five rounds of interview. Once until unless this total number of rounds are not empty, we'll again go back to handle question. But when we are going from this particular edge, handle result check rounds, we'll be changing the interviewer. So in the first case it would be product manager. The second case it would be a senior product manager and the cycle will repeat itself. So there are two cycles as you can see. The first is a small cycle between the interviewer and the candidate. And the second one is a bigger cycle where we're changing the interviewer also. It is a little complicated. Once we have done with all the total rounds, we would be going to the handle selection where we are accumulated all the results from this particular side. 
from each of the interviewer and then getting a response key whether depending upon the response from all the interviewers whether this candidate should be selected or not so this is the entire code flow a little complicated to understand but it's very interesting to use uh, as you can see the graphs it has many variables a little difficult to explain but i will be explaining the most important ones all history records the entire interview so all the five interviews that are getting conducted will get stored in all history history will store interviews per round so if product manager is taking the interview the interview in that process in that particular cycle would get stored once a new interview come interviewer comes in this gets refreshed and the uh, next round interviews are getting stored in history final results basically store the store the handle selection result ki whether the candidate is selected or not result will store all the results from all the interview rounds total questions total questions in uh, per round to be asked who is the current interviewer candidates role current question current answer round current round which is going on the panel this particular variable total rounds to conducted total questions per round to be asked fine uh, now going coming to this particular prompt list this is quite heavy there are four prompts that i'm getting that i'm using in this case prompt interviewer so this is the prompt used by the interviewer to generate his question you are dash you need to interview dash this is the interview so far ask your next question and don't repeat prompt interviewee as i am not answering the question even the interview is an ai agent so in this case i am using a prompt for him also you are a dash you have appeared for a job interview answer the questions asked again prompt result so this would be used by the interviewer evaluate the performance of the candidate based on the response given for the questions asked give a rating on a scale of 10 and verdict in case of verdict we would be accumulating all the results given the interview we would be passing it the entire interview and the results and would be asking whether this candidate should be selected or not and clean up so clean up might not be required but if you are not using a state of the llm i think it might be required because uh, the output coming won't be always as expected format so this might help you to clean things up a bit but these four are the most important prompt that we are using in this case let's get started so this particular node handle question very similar to the previous uh, example that we did on multi agent interview will help you generate the question given the interviewer so here you can see that we are loading a few state graph variables and then passing it to the prompt interviewer this particular prompt and then generating a question by the interviewer handle response in the same way for the question generated by the interviewer in the first step the interviewee answer we would be generating using the llm as you can see that in history we are updating the entire conversation so history can be taken as a memory variable for us in this case and we are updating a few other uh, variables also the current question makes sense total questions plus one so total question is basically maintaining a counter for the current interviewer that we don't hit a threshold so once we hit a threshold we would be resetting total questions to zero for the next interviewer handle result so given the entire history variable for the first or second whichever round that is going on we will be asking it to generate a result evaluate the performance using this particular prompt as you can see and this round gets done i am printing i would be showing you the output also and this round gets done now one important thing that we are doing in this case is uh, we are updating a number of variables as you can see so in result we are accumulating the result of all the rounds so once the round gets done once the evaluation is done the evaluation results are getting stored in the result variable history is set to nothing again all history is now you uh, storing the entire conversation in done in that round we are appending that i would be showing you what is actually happening and round equals to plus 1 because the next interviewer would be coming in this particular case we are using the choosing the next interviewer by doing a round plus 1 so as i told you we are going in sequence if round equals to 0 right now 0 plus 1 the next element in the list would be coming out so if we are in the first round product manager 0 plus 1 would become 1 so the next round would taken by the senior product manager total questions is again reset to 0 because total questions was a counter maintained for each interviewer handle selection is easy so we are loading the result variable 
as you can see here this particular variable which is storing the result from all the rounds and then asking it to give me a final result whether the candidate should be selected or not so these are the four nodes major nodes that we are using handle question handle response handle result handle selection and we are adding all these nodes here as you can see into the graph now here we are adding two conditional ledges as you saw here also there were two cycles hence two conditional ledges one would be here a conditional ledge basically helps you to decide flow when there are multiple flows available there are two flows available for this case also and for this case also as you can see if you are following my cursor so first of all the first flow would be easier to understand as we did in the last case uh, to check conversation length so for the current interview that is going on interview round what is the total number of questions asked if we have hit that threshold we would be asking the interviewer to evaluate the candidate else ask the next question now in case of check rounds if the round if we have hit the threshold for all the rounds if all the candidates have interviewed we would be going to handle selection else we would be going to handle question now using the add conditional edges we are adding the conditional edges as i've already explained this i'm not jumping into it it's uh, intuitive to understand as you can see once handle response is encountered we will be checking for conversation length right and then once handle result is encountered we are checking whether all the rounds are done or not so these two conditional edges are getting added and then we are adding the rest of the edges also handle question handle response this particular edge we are talking about and handle selection end this edge once we have added all the edges we will be compiling this particular workflow graph and then invoking it now in invoking there is a number of variables that you need to set up total questions starting would be zero candidate is the interview role that we uh, set up early only that is was a, a junior product manager total number of rounds would be length of the classes variable uh, that we have set so classes is basically this particular list so total number of interviewers equals to total number of rounds to be taken interviews uh, total questions per round equals to 5 this is customizable we are starting with round 0 all history is empty results are empty interview is first interview uh, first element in the list this can be randomized also whatever you wish to do i am starting with the first element panel equals to classes so the total panel history is nothing round is equals to 0 all history is empty and recursion limit this is a very important variable to set up else you would be hitting a recursion limit error most probably so this will help you to generate long conversation using lang graph because by default recursion limit is 25 now here you can see that in the output all the rounds are getting done by all the respective interviewers the final result if you see yes the candidate has received higher rating from all the interviews demonstrating so the llm is able to evaluate uh, the final result based on the results now this is the all history all history is basically recording all the conversation that has happened so Uh, the five round of interviews are visible to you here you can see the product manager what sort of questions he is asking what sort of response the candidate has given you can see the questions getting asked interviewed by senior product manager he is asking some questions then there are questions getting asked by lead engineer so all the interview questions and the responses are getting logged in all history and then last important variable was conversation result which was summarized in this particular use case so final result so final result is using the result variable to summarize this so this is how you can generate a multi panel an interview panel using multi agent orchestration and you can automate an entire interview process for your company where you can eventually see how you can even append your panel you can add multi, uh, you can add multiple logics also you can add an event also but this looks very strong to do because it will save a lot of time and eventually a very strong use case for multi agent orchestration